book of Romans chapter number 12. It says in verse 18, actually let's back up to verse 17. It says, recompense to no man evil for evil. Evil meaning harm. That's what it means in the Bible when it says evil. When someone harms you, don't harm them back. He says, uh, recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Now, it's not always going to be possible. But he says, as much as it is possible, try to get along with people. He said, try to live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So think about in your neighborhood. You live in a neighborhood that's probably filled with unsaved people. It's probably not just saved people up one side of the street and down the other, or in the apartment where you live, or wherever you live. You're probably surrounded by the heathen, right? So what do you do in that neighborhood? I'll tell you what I try to do as much as is possible. I try to live peaceably with all men in that neighborhood. I don't want to start fights with my neighbors. I don't want to start conflicts with my neighbors. And if they don't do something that I don't like, I don't want to just retaliate and, and just come back at them and escalate some battle. If I can just diffuse the situation, I would. You know, your neighbors sometimes are going to do stupid things. Maybe they're, they're being too loud. They're blasting their music. Or maybe they, they, they throw trash that blows into your yard or something. Or, or whatever the case, they flood your yard. You know, who knows what they, they could do? What's an annoying thing that, that neighbors do? What have your neighbors done to you? Get it off your chest. The dogs, the dogs what'd they do? Just annoying, barking dogs. They almost ate your cat. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, throwing cigarette butts. Look, if I had a nickel for every Bud Light can that I found in my front yard, I'd be a rich man. And it's, it's annoying. You know, you just, especially when you don't drink, you don't want to have a Bud Light can in the front of your yard. It just looks trashy. It looks ghetto. And you know what? I see things about my neighbors that I don't approve of. And guess what? I don't care. I don't worry about it. I don't stand in judgment of them. I don't try to, to, to fix everything about them. It's not my job. It's not my place. And you know what? If they throw trash in my yard, I don't have to go throw trash in their yard or take that same trash and throw it in their yard. Yeah, it's in your yard where it belongs now. Or, or to go to them and knock on the door and, and start a fight about it. You know, you got to just let things go. Right. If they throw trash in your yard, pick it up and put it in the bin. And it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a terrible thing to do to litter like that. But at the same time, what's more important? Keeping peace with your neighbors mm -hmm. than to just pick fights about dumb little things. Don't sweat the small stuff. Right. You know, look, and if, if they're making too much noise, if there's a way that I can shut out the noise, I'll just shut out the noise and let them have their party. It's none of my business. You know, unless it just comes to a point where it's really infringing on me and I have to deal with it or whatever, you know, I'd rather just find ways to peaceably live with my neighbors and get along.